After using the first week of preseason to focus on the team's fitness, the Chicago Fire spent their second phase of preseason at IMG Academy in Bradenton, Florida, with Frank Yallop and his staff emphasizing the style of play they're looking for in 2014. Make sure the pass from the outside's good. Don't just slap it. Defensively, defensively be inside your fella. Offensively, as soon as we win it, let's get to these spots. Play, play, John. That's fine. Yes, play it in the belt. Oh, well done. It's hard work. It's hard work. Which is good. Try to get to your spots as quick as you can, and then you can start your attack or your play from there. If you stick to what he's asking with the 4-1-4-1 of finding the times to press, it has to be together uh, in that half of the field, then we do it. If it's not on, we keep our shape. It's a bit of a different mentality, a different game plan. They want us to, you know, we're going to pressure teams and be more compact. I think being compact, it was, it's one of the big, big factors that we're trying to fix, you know? Keep our lines a little tighter and just go after teams. Once we gel together and once we get the concept down, I think we could be very successful if we do it right. One of Yalp's immediate off-season plans was to shore up a back line that gave up a club record 52 goals in 2013. Yeah, so we gave up a lot of goals, um, a lot of them preventable. What the reasons are, I'm not sure, but it's, uh, I think, with you know, a new system, the new acquisition, I think that's really going to help, you know, shore up that back line. With the more depth, will help us give uh, you know, fresher legs. I think, you know, the issue last year was um, you we didn't put together uh, too many games where we were focused for all 90 minutes. Uh, you know, we kind of let up uh, in spaces, and you know, those are sometimes where we kind of give up some soft goals. Considering less goals is going to give us a better chance of winning games, and I think that's one of the goals. That's one of the things that they want to address, and done a good job at it. And that's it. It's going to make us a better team for sure. The depth came in the form of veteran MLS center backs John Kennedy Hurtado and Patrick Ianni, who the club acquired from Seattle in exchange for Jaleel Anibaba. The additions have made the battle for starting spots at center back one of the most interesting this preseason. Yeah, I feel great. I'm really, really, really excited for coming to a new team. I see the really good players, really good teammates, and I think the performance right now is it's really great. I think it's always good to have depth in your squad because throughout the year there's going to be injuries and national team call-ups and stuff like that. And so you want to be able to plug guys in uh, with experience. And I think the coaching staff and technical staff have done a good job of building a roster here uh, with depth. You know, some people look at competition and like, oh, you should be scared, but you shouldn't. It just, if anything, it makes you a better player because you know that somebody behind you that can step in and get their job done. Every day obviously is a day to Press yourself, and Frank. And his biggest thing, he wants people that work. Okay? And you work hard and you put the effort in, that's all we can ask for. The day the team arrived in Bradenton, the fire continued the club's youth movement, acquiring U.S. under 20 captain Benji Hoya on loan after spending the last two and a half years with Mexican side Santos Laguna. Coming down to MLS and playing for Chicago Fire, you know, it's, I could say in a way, a dream come true. Because since I was small, I wanted to play on the MLS. I wanted to feel what it was like to play in the U.S. environment, you know, where, where my family grew up and, and I grew up. Now I'm here to, to prove what I've learned in, down in Mexico and, and ready to start the league. Upon his arrival, Hoya was able to adapt quickly as he reconnected with his U.S. under-20 and now fire teammate, Victor Pineda. I think it's a surprise to, to me. Um, I always thought he was doing well in, in Mexico. I thought for sure he was gonna find success there. And, um, but now I'm really excited to have him here. I think Benji's a great guy. I think Benji's a fun guy to be around with and I think Benji's gonna be a good guy in the locker room. We're here to just prove every training and every, every scrimmage we have our potential. We're, we're here to show the coach, obviously, that, that you know we deserve to be in the starting 11. In three games in Bradenton, the fire back line held opponents scoreless. While the younger generation carried the offensive efforts in three straight victories. It was Hoya that bagged the highlight real goal of training camp. This season, you know, we're, we're going to do really good because of the potential and the desire 
that the team has to to want to become you know first first place. You know we we want to become champions. So so I feel we're gonna have a good run and we're gonna go all the way.